Hi, first grade. Today we're going to read a really fun book about a magical book that brings our favorite stories to life. Our book is called Myth Miss Smith's Incredible Storybook by Michael Garland. Let's read this book and see what stories will come to life for us. Let's get ready. Miss Smith's Incredible Storybook. It was the first day of school. Zach was waiting for his teacher to arrive. This is Zach. Boring, boring, he thought. Ugh, why would this year be any different than the last one? Then the door swung open. Good morning, class. My name is Miss Smith, and I am your new teacher. Smith seemed mm, different from Zach's other teachers, but the day went along like every school day Zach could remember until Miss Smith said, it's story time. When she sat at her desk and started to read from the book she had brought with her, Zach couldn't believe his eyes. The storybook characters came to life and the classroom was swesh, swept up in a swashbuckling pirate tale. So as she was reading, the pirates came to life into their classroom. I wish we had a storybook like this. Whoa, look at their classroom now. Zach and the rest of his class were right in the middle of the story. He could feel the breeze in his hair and hear the waves pounding on the side of the ship. Oh, what story is this? I think I've seen this before. Hmm, let's find out. From then on, Zach couldn't wait to go to school. Every day, there was a new story to look forward to. When Miss Smith finished reading, all the characters and adventures, whoosh, back into her book. On Friday, Principal Rotten stood in front of the class instead of Miss Smith. Miss mm, Smith is stuck in traffic, so she asked me to read to you until she arrived. Zach wondered what would happen next. Principal Rotten started to read. Zach smiled when the princess leaped out of the book, followed closely by a fire-breathing dragon and a brave knight on his horse. Principal Written Rotten was so surprised that all he could do was scream and throw the book up in the air. Ah! I'm going for help! He yelled as he ran out of the room. But Zach couldn't think of it. Before Zach could think of anything to do, Sue Ann pounced on the storybook. But she didn't finish the dragon story. She started reading a new one instead. The princess, the dragon, and the knight did not go back to the book. But the three bears and Goldilocks climbed out. Uh-oh. Lots of storybook characters are coming to life. Freddy, the class clown, jumped out of his seat and tried to pull the book away. When Sue Ann let go, he tumbled backwards and the book flew across the room. The whole class laughed. Billy caught the book and started reading from a new story. Zach shook his head in amazement when the Mad Hatter, the Cheshire Cat, and Alice popped out to join the others. <gasps> oh my goodness. So many storybook characters. I think this might be a problem. As the book passed from kid to kid, one character after another flew out of the pages. The classroom was getting mm, a little crowded. 
This is trouble, Zack said to himself. The chaos was beginning to spill out into the halls. Why don't you finish the stories, Zack pleaded. But nobody was listening. Wow, it looks like the school is a little bit out of control right now. Mrs. Smith brought her car to a stop in front of the school. Uh-oh, there uh, seems to be a little problem, she said, as she raced inside. What's the problem that Miss Smith sees? Meanwhile, Zack was shouting, We have to finish the story so the characters go back in the book! But the storybook characters didn't want to go back. A tug of war began. Looks like it's the kids in Miss Smith's class versus all of the storybook characters. Uh-oh. Miss Smith appeared in the doorway. With one look, she let everyone know that she meant business. Even the dragon was silent. Zack handed the book back to Miss Smith. She ruffled through the pages, adjusted her glasses, and started to read. The class sat quietly as she finished each story. With a swirl and a whoosh, one character after another disappeared into the book until the classroom was quiet. The end. I would love to have a storybook like that where all the characters come out into the school and we can see them. If we had a storybook like that, what book would you want to read? What story would you want to have come to life? Thank you for reading with me, 1C. I will talk to you later. Bye.